An Albuquerque man has been arrested in connection to a bizarre murder for hire plot. The would be hit man is the one who ended up bleeding on the pavement. News 13's Maria Medina sorts it all out. And Kim police say Matthew Morrison first stole a car from a man, then wanted him killed. But Morrison's alleged plan didn't turn out the way he hoped it would. One bullet, $500. That's how much Jeffrey Parkhurst claims he was supposed to be paid to kill a man. Parkhurst's suspected boss, Matthew Morrison. Police say the two met behind bars recently. Morrison told Parkhurst he was there for carjacking a man and now wanted that man killed. Investigators believe Morrison agreed to give Parkhurst a place to stay when he got out of jail. Parkhurst claims he'd get $100 up front and then $400 more after the murder. But Parkhurst claims he changed his mind. Police say Morrison's friend Brandon Snipes Everidge then took Parkhurst to the Canyon Ridge Apartments along with another man, Ray Ray Johnson. Parkhurst says Ray Ray and Snipes were acting funny, so that's when he decided to get out of the car. And as he was walking away, that's when he says Snipes shot him. Police found Parkhurst bleeding from his head in the parking lot of the apartments near Central and Montebo on August 11th. He survived to tell police his story. The group is charged with conspiracy to commit murder. Snipes is charged with attempted murder. Albuquerque police say murder for higher cases in the metro area are rare. And police say the group never got to the person they'd hired Parkhurst to kill. Police haven't said if Morrison wanted the man dead to keep him from testifying or if it was out of revenge. Kim. Okay, thanks, Maria. Now, Morrison's girlfriend, Loretta Stoltz, was also charged with conspiracy to commit murder. Investigators say she was the one who was going to pay Parkhurst for the hit.